What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dre with the T. Welcome back to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about these fast food carryout prices and these new automatic tips that's been added on. Normally, it was never like that before. Now, they want 15% or better, like every time you carry out and walk in restaurants. Even some of the drive throughs has got a tip button now. And, like, I don't mind giving a tip, especially if I sit down in a restaurant I know, like, as a child, I was raised up to know when you sit down in a restaurant and no people waiting on you, that waitress, get that person a tip, leave them a tip. And if so I'm okay when I'm sitting down in a restaurant. But if I'm on a go and I really wasn't trying to spend that type of money because I'm not sitting down, I don't think I should require a tip. And now you got to be careful with your car because they got it prompt on some of these restaurants where it automatically, like, prompted to take a tip out. That happened to me a few times. If you're not careful, hit, if you're not careful hit the right, the wrong button. Uh, it will take a tip off your card. Like, they got it where you can't even put your pen in at some of these registers now, at some of these restaurants without requiring a tip. And it's just like, you know, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's just like, geez, they already done double and triple the food prices. Everything done went up. Like, so that being said, you would think these um, fast food restaurant owners will increase their employee's salary because of that. They get more money from us, the customers. Why not give it to their workers to make sure they got a livable wage? I don't think we should be responsible to pay for tips, especially if we're not sitting down, unless you just generous or rich. I'm not. I got bills. Everything is going up. Even if you make good money, if you're doing everything by yourself like me, everything is going up. So that being said, I'm not rich. So I'm not just feeling generous like that unless I'm sitting down. If I, especially, you know, like if I just ran there to give me a burger or something, I just want to pay for my burger and go. I don't want to be required to give a tip unless I just want to give something extra. And then now some of the cashiers to look at you like in a weird way, like waiting and prompting you to put your card in. You have to be really be careful. And then with all this scamming and stuff going on. You have to be really careful with these restaurant workers. You see it too much on the news. They stealing people information. I know this nothing new, but it's just going on more and more and more. It's getting worse out here. Like you gotta be really careful with your car now these days. In certain neighborhoods, it ain't even good to get them your car through a drive through. It's just that bad out here. They stealing people identity. You gotta go through the whole process trying to get your money back. So it's just a lot to be going through. And then even some of these bars and grills. Um, they made it now where, you know how before you go in to a bar and grill, maybe to have a drink or a cocktail, whatever, you normally give the waitress a tip, but now they making it like, I saw it in some of the states, but I say cracking down in my state now, where now it's like, I saw it in some of the outer town, the big cities where it's nothing wrong while I'm on vacation, but they cracking down in like a lot of cities now. Now you have to even give those waitresses automatic tips. They got certain days a week, like Thursday through Saturday, it's automatically a 20% continuity that goes on to their car, a 20% tip. And then that, so before it was up to your discretion, how much you want to leave for a tip, depending on the customer service. But now it's not like that. The, the, the waitress can be rude. They can be nasty to you and they still getting a tip. Some of them don't even work that hard no more. Like you got to ask for condiments in the bag because they know, and you look at your, because the tip already coming off. This is what they're doing to customers. They feel like they ain't got to do good customer service. I'm not saying all, but some of them feel like they know they're getting a tip now because they made a requirement. Check your bill because you need to check your bill, y'all. Check your receipt because they done made a requirement. A lot of these bars and grills and restaurants to automatically give them a tip, especially depending on the day of the week when you go into there, to the establishment. And then a lot of them get an attitude. Like I don't understand. A lot of them get upset because I'm asking to see my tip. You know your food, how much it costs, and how much your beverage costs. Like, they used to people not being in their right mind or something. They used to taking advantage of people because they might be intoxicated. They're not used to dealing with sober people at some of these establishments. So you would turn around ask them, I need to see the receipt. I need to see what I order. Some of them catch attitude because you ask and see your receipt. Like, get your receipt because they, cause, because what you end up doing is they get double tips. They take advantage of people. Some of these waitresses take advantage of all people like that. The um, bar they work for automatically take a tip off your card depending on the day of the week. Then you will turn around not knowing they got a tip because I have to check it to this myself. And lucky I asked for my 
print out receipt because the lady was not going to give it to me. And I was about to get her another tip. And just to see, she already got a tip, which was a high tip um, for what I had got because they added 20% on her. Saving so a nice amount of little tip now. So, yeah, just be careful because it's a lot of that going on out here. And I don't think we should be required to pay for tips, especially if we're not sitting down unless we just want to. Just watch our cars, man. Watch these restaurants because, you know, we all trying to make it out here. We we damn near in a recession. Like, rent went up. Now your lights and gas went up. I don't know if y'all got peak time in y'all city. But, like, in my area, it's peak time. We use DT Energy in my state. And, like, between 3 and 7 now, they taking, um, they have nowhere now that they're uh, charging more on lights. And I said, why y'all doing that? And I called to pay my, um light and gas bill for the month. They said that's because that's the most time it's being used. I'm like, that is so messed up. So especially with school then and kids back to school, so you're going to take advantage of the working parents because they kids and use the lights and gas around that time. You're going to go up on a bill between three and seven. That's most of the time when school age kids out of school and mom cooking the kitchen, cooking dinner in the kitchen. That's crazy. Like it's taking advantage of us and we have no say so. Car insurance, everything's going up. Just watch y'all car. These restaurants out here taking advantage. I don't think it should fall on the public. I think it should fall on the business owner of that establishment to pay these people livable wages, especially considering they up in the prices. Ain't no more cheap restaurant eating out. Ain't no more cheap grocery store. Now you got to toss your coin because, I mean, you know, do a toss-up coin. Do you feel like cooking at night? You feel like going to the restaurant? It's all equal and the same. It's no more cheap dining outs, no more, nowhere. You might look up here and there. Some some restaurants have been giving out specials. I've been doing a lot of food reviews on them. So y'all can just keep watching out for my food reviews. I always try to look out if it's a good special for y'all. Some people are because they lost a lot of customers. They trying to make sure you don't go out of business because people can't afford it. So I'll keep y'all posted on those type of restaurants. But a lot of them don't have a lot of good specials. Everything went up. So I'm going to no, just, just be careful, y'all. And I'm going to keep looking out doing my food reviews so y'all can see who got the specials um, in the area. And I keep, you know, putting the link in the bio for y'all. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I hope this was helpful. I want everybody to be safe out there when y'all go to these restaurants. Until next time, y'all be easy out there. Be safe.